In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about scroll animations, tips and tricks, and in the following parts, you'll learn how to work with scroll animations, scroll speed, scroll transforms, scroll triggers, and scroll variants. And at the end, I'm going to make this gramophone component, which is nicely done with scroll animations, so you can make amazing scroll effects. Without further ado, let's see what we have. <music> All right, the first technique that I'm going to tell you about is scroll animation. And if you want to have, let's say, dynamic effects on your layers, on your titles, you can use this technique. And for example, I do have this, let's say, title here. And it's one of our templates, by the way. Uh, it's on the live on the marketplace. And I want to make this appear once the user tries to scroll down and reach to this section. So as you can see, this bestseller is a trigger and we do have a scroll section. We have added it, uh, the scroll section before and it has a name. I just added once again, just to, you know, just to do it again. So you guys learn and this has a name so we can address that name to trigger based on this section. Okay, so I'm going to tell you more about this. I'm going to just uh, add the scroll animation to the title stack. And I'm going to set it to section in view and select my trigger. Okay. So this is very important. Like we do have four properties here on scroll is basically once the user tries to start to scroll through your website and on appear is obviously once the layer is appeared and layer in view doesn't accept any, let's say trigger. And it's basically once this layer is in the viewport of the user and section in view lets you uh, basically set a trigger or let's say a section name for your animation. So basically once the bestseller, this, this bestseller is on the viewport, start, center or end. Okay. I'm going to send it to, uh, I'm going to send it to center of the viewport. So it's going to be applied once the user is around here. Okay. At the center of the bestseller container. Okay. So let's go back to the scroll animation setting. And as you can see, it's set to center. We don't need any reply because, you know, once the user is at the bottom of your website and it tries to scroll back, it's going to be replayed. And it's not that, you know, cool. And we don't need any exit animation. We just need to enter the animation and I'm going to set the offset Y to 24. So it's going to be 24 at the at the bottom and uh, once we reach to the middle of the bestseller it's going to be you know zero okay and that's my intro effect and for the spring i'm gonna i'm gonna do let's say one one and a half and we don't need any bouncing so i'm gonna or let's say go let's let's go with physique because it's you know you can make smooth animation with this physique kind of uh, property and the transitions. Okay. Damping 70. And as you can see, the preview is very smooth. Okay. So I think we're done here. We just need to basically run it to see if that works perfect. Yeah. Cool. As you can see, the animation is done and you can set this to a lot of, let's say your layers and one thing that I should mention is basically this is inside a stack and I applied that effect, that scroll effect to the stack because we do have a lot of typography styles and settings and it's perfect if you set a stack for your text layer. If this is a general point, like if you have special effects or let's say uh, on normal effects, it's better to, you know, do your own thing. But I personally prefer to set that effect to the stacks, to the container stack, or let's say wrapper stack, because it's more reliable. As I told you, we do have a lot of typography settings. So for example, if you have a, uh, let's say 120 line height on the uh, large screens in, in hundred on the mobile, it's going to be very different and it's going to be problematic to, uh, for example, for this scroll effect to understand the layer position and viewport. So 
that's why I keep mentioning that it's always better to wrap it up inside a stack. And for example, I do use this section in view and you can use layer in view. It's not that problematic, but I've, but I've heard a lot of bad things about layer in view. So that's why I always use section in view with a trigger or let's say section name. All right, here we are in the uh, framework desktop application and this is one of the marketplace free templates that heads up to the creator and as you can see we do have these cards here and i want to make a subtle scroll animation with scroll speed for these widgets at the let's say right and left so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this effect and apply scroll speed and what this is, it's basically once you're scrolling through your website, you're at the 100% scrolling, let's say, uh, smoothness and, and speed, okay? So once you try to uh, manipulate this scroll speed, it means that that specific layer is going to be 10% or let's say 20% or let's say 30% faster than the normal let's say, uh, scrolling uh, speed, okay? So I'm gonna set, uh, let's say, 108%, so it's a little bit more subtle. And I'm gonna, yeah, let's apply the same for this one. All right, now I have scroll speed on all of these layers, and I'm gonna just run the template to see how that works okay perfect and as you can see it's very subtle it's moving very subtle and it's perfect if you want to you know create those subtle animations so for example if i uh move this if i set this to 128 you can see the difference uh on the bottom card this card is going to be much more faster than all of those okay so you can see, ooh, that's, that's a nice effect. You can play with these and make your own. And I've seen that a lot of people try to use it on the, let's say, cloud visuals and their websites. If you have uh, clouds or something like these kind of cards in the right and left, it's perfect. Or it's on you, basically, on your creativity to play with it. For example, I've, you know, I moved this to 128 and it made a lot of differences okay so it's perfect if you want to do something subtle on your sections try to use scroll speed but there is a trick that there's a tip actually um, it's better to not use uh, let's say scroll speed on sticky sections or let's say sticky containers and stacks all right in this part i'm going to use scroll transform to move these cards out of the hero section once the user tries to scroll okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this layer and apply the scroll transform to it and i'm going to use section in view and i need this action bar this section uh, to be a trigger for my effect and I mean, uh, it's on you basically, like uh, you can change this to whatever you want or let's say use it uh, as your preferences. And I use this action as a trigger. And if you select on scroll, uh, it's going to be played throughout the whole website, throughout the whole a height of the website once the user is scrolling and uh, if the scroll ends like you reach to the footer uh, your effect is going to be done and it's playing 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 and uh, you know cpu is going to be crazy <laughs> so i'm going to use a trigger and i'm going to say that if the report was at the center from this to that i can set something uh, for example, I can set property transform properties to this card and it has a from to to. Okay. So you can set, for example, I want this card to be one, uh, 1 1.1 scale. And, uh, if the, let's say transform, transfer, uh, if the transform effect ends, it's going to be 1.5. So this is the beauty of scroll transform. It has a from and to. So you can, uh, basically set anything okay so I, I don't need any from so I'm just gonna 
set two and let's go with 200 left perfect 200 offset so it's out of the screen and perfect we can add a transition so i'm gonna basically smoothly move it out uh, of the hero section and let's play it uh, we're going to apply the same on all of those cards, but I just want to know that if that works perfect. All right, cool. As you can see, once we, once we reach to the center of this action, oh yeah, it's replayed. Once we reach to the center of this, uh, action section, it's going to be moved out of the hero section. So maybe it's a lot to set, uh, let's say. 200 let's change it to 100 or 70 perfect and i'm gonna move uh i'm gonna fast forward to apply the same on all of these cards so you can see the result all right i've copied and pasted on all of these cards on the right and on the left so let's run the template to see what is the result and yeah as you can see, if I scroll to this section, oops, I don't know why it gets reloading, but yeah, if I scroll, you can see that these are going to be moved out of the hero section. All right, the last scroll effect is scroll variant, and it's very useful if you want to move between, uh, let's say, component variants. You can make a lot of nice effect with it. So I do have this gramophone component and this moving text, which is the lyric of the Weekend Starboy uh, song. And as you can see, uh, I'm going to just draw multiple frames because I need some, let's say, triggers. Uh, let's name it as one, two, and duplicate it three perfect i'm going to set the triggers by this scroll section which you guys know now and yeah let's just fast forward all right now we have those uh triggers one two three and the name is on the scroll section is one two three and let's just select them all and make them zero opacity now let's go to the component i want to tell you something like I do have a audio component, which I inserted from uh, framework components. You can just drag and drop it. Okay. So, and what I'm going to do is the opacity is at the 0% here because I don't need to show it and playing is set to no, which is not going to be played on the first variant. Okay. And on the second variant, uh, if I select my audio component, I set the playing to yes. You can see that if I uh, play, if I add this scroll variant and set all of my triggers, uh, I don't need reply. Let's set the viewport to center and let's select the first trigger and the second variant. So we see that if the section one, which is this one, is at the center uh, on the scroll, just go to the second variant, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, play my template and let's reload it, okay? And as you can see, if I scroll down, the music plays and we do have the gramophone here, okay? So that's it, guys. This is how we did it. And obviously, it's we do need reply here because we need to get that track out of this, let's say, gramophone once we come to the top and uh, yeah let's reload as you can see perfectly playing and come it comes from the bottom and plays the music and if we scroll back it's going to be at the bottom again because it transforms to the let's say default variant of this component that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel see you in the next and peace